We are two seasons into Fortnite Chapter 5, and there are a ton of secrets and Easter eggs in this chapter. And thanks to the team at Top 5 Gaming, they've put together a couple of videos showing us those secrets, so I'm going to react to them. It's all covered in these 26 secrets, and number one can be found at Rebel's Roost. Epic is known for adding tombstones for players with unfortunate fates. Oh, I remember this. This was the, the car that got stuck in the tree, the right? Map, Someone said that this season there was also another car, but I'm not sure if that's true. Five. A player was driving through this area when his car got wedged between two trees. I mean, what are the odds of that? That well, is, Epic is kind of crazy. How you can find a tribute to it in game. Huh? Looks like we might need another grave for our wallets after Fortnite drops their upcoming collapse. A huge leak was recently posted. Final Fantasy One Piece, like Devil May Cry, and the Final Devil Fantasy Cry. VII Remake, which people have been. I mean, at this for. point, what's well, not going to be in for Fortnite? As as One Piece, which is finally One Piece is definitely coming, coming to future, Fortnite, along with other characters. There's like too many, e too many hints towards it. We'll talk about the Lady Gaga crossover soon, but if you thought it stopped there, just wait until you hear about the next batch of DC skins on the way. Featuring Robin Teen Titans? and Peacemaker. Oh, never mind. Dedicated viewers will know how long we've waited for this guy. I mean, yeah, we've got John We kind of have some Teen Titan people already, I guess, with Raven One collab and uh, everyone is Starfire. Focused on right now is TMNT. The event is huge and even gave us drift boards only for people to be disappointed at the new charge. Well, it turns out it's not as bad as you might think. You can refuel Cars it, right? also ran on batteries, and when they ran out, there was pretty much nothing you could do. But with drift boards, you can now Drift boards is one of the most, like, goaded vehicles in Fortnite. Sense, but hey, I'm not complaining. You can even take a can with you to make this thing last forever. Lately, oh, nice. We've been getting I didn't think about so doing that. Icon emotes. It's hard to keep track, but one went a lot deeper than just music. Reaper Showtime actually uses a fan song for the show Has Been Hotel, which has been blowing up a lot recently. Interesting. Also, a direct collab with the series, Epic still made a site to go with it that's based on one of the characters. So is it wasn't an official effort. collab? Or was it just based on the song? because they've also put a ton of detail into each of the Ninja Turtle stances. Everyone is different, and they all contain props that are Easter eggs to characters from the show, like Mousers, Foot Soldiers, and Metalhead. The details go even further when you talk to Master Splinter. Approach him as any of the This is a really cool collab, I'm not gonna lie. And the, and the Ninja Turtle Xander Mythics was actually one of the most these fun lines moments actually references to the show. in uh, Chapter Anger 5, Season 1. Self-destructive. We must fall many times before we learn to stand. <laughs> then why did you make me leader? Because... You ask. Epic put so much effort into collabs, some of them people are only just starting to notice. Michael what? Myers is one of the greatest crossovers of all time, and if your graphics are high enough, his pumpkin light will- My graphics are not high enough, guys. I'm playing on performance mode, low meshes, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get that 650 FPS, zero ping, no delay. But if your graphics are high enough, congratulations. Actually project on a nearby you object. You can see this. All right, maybe you're saving your V-Bucks for Wait, another that, collab. Wait, that, it actually just like- projects even bigger if you're further away from the wall that's crazy Said, and you might be wondering why we haven't seen marvel in almost a year we used to get these monthly we but now we finally have an explanation we haven't according marvel to in the over new year? rumor epic is working on a giant batch of them featuring doc Ock from spider-man yeah that makes Ma sense i mean disney just is a partner now and they own marvel members of the x-men like magneto cyclops and colossus it doesn't stop there because and i think also just today we also got uh information that drax is going to be coming to the game because there was a Fortnite Lego promo picture and it had a Lego version of Drax, but we haven't seen his Fortnite look yet. Of the Fantastic Four. So if it's true, we'll probably have to wait until the new movie drops. Still not as long as the wait for Disney to arrive in Fortnite. Even though they announced the collab and dropped a whole trailer for the mode, yep. the CEO has said it'll still be a couple of years away, and even that's a maybe. Wow. Midas, a classic tale from Greek mythology and one of the most popular skins we have ever had. Well, it turns out Fortnite is already teasing his return with a brand new Power A controller. They've worked directly wait. with Epic to drop a Midas-themed Xbox I pad, want that. even comes with a thousand I want bucks that. and a Storm King Fist pickaxe. Yo, 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 yo. Do I have the Storm King Fist pickaxe? I don't know. Maybe I do. But I want that. To be expected when you realize this bundle is like $50. But on the bright side, I'm this could be one. our first teaser for the future. Although one collab we never expected was Venom in the Fortnite universe. Eddie Brock's skin transforms into him like the movie. But what about the original from season four? We never got to see the human side of this Venom. And well, thanks to a recent concept art, we it's finally Jonesy? know that it was Jonesy. Well, that's no not the only way. superhero to have a secret. Since the latest update, Batman is now happy. You'd Why is he happy? To be tough and serious as usual, but people logged in last week to find him with this creepy Cra smile. Wait, Kratos you know? is also angry now, and he is coming back to the item shop, by the way. 
That's what that's what the leaker said. So Leviathan pickaxe and Kratos finally returning. No idea why this happened. Either the Joker got to him or he's just happy to finally recreate the Ninja Turtles meme. And did you know you can pull off your own stuns thanks to a secret with the cardboard box? Normally you still take fall damage in this thing, but if you jump out at the last second, I never tried it'll this. reset your fall so you can safely touch the ground even from Those a boxes sky should have not been mythic Speaking rarity, dropping, by the way. <laughs> a skin that has never been sold before is hitting the shop for those who missed it. The Jujutsu Kaisen event locked both Yuji skins oh, behind the pass, yeah. leaving players unable to get them when the items are turned. But now Epic has finally released them for everyone. I'll just say this, though. I love there is some outfits that Epic forgot to put in the shop, though. Valentine's Day is now passed, but a ton of cosmetics have been completely abandoned from Crusher, Scully, and most importantly, Love Ranger. It's the first oh, dude, time he has never returned for Valentine's. The players are pretty upset. Dude, I, Stoneheart is is perfect for the season two, by the way, for pretending to be a statue. So is she not coming back? What about it. And they're also feeling underwhelmed after seeing the concept art for Vibin. This was one of the most hated seasons of all time, but the design showed there was meant to be so much more. Ooh. They got the screwball coaster as expected, but they also planned an entire theme park with a Ferris wheel and drop tower. There is one skin that's been out for Dang. years and people are only just starting to notice its secret. When Megan Webster released, everyone could tell they were inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's, yep. but they are more similar than you think. As you play with them during a match and take damage, they'll fall apart and lose their pain, eventually ending up like this. What? I didn't know that. Now you wouldn't be able to see that if you're staying invisible with the stealth camo, which has an insane way to get free limbs. Just wait on Loot Island for people to really? arrive, activate the camo, and you can slide kick them off without them ever seeing you. <laughs> okay, okay. That, that's, that's actually not a bad way to use it, but it probably works better in zero builds. But that's probably the only way it was useful. <laughs> okay, remember the empty jam track Fortnite sold to us by accident? Well, it's officially changed. For anyone that still has it in their locker, it's been updated to Flowers by Miley Cyrus. This means anyone who took the risk to buy it got access to the song days before anyone else. And nice. now I kind of feel like a jerk for judging everyone. There is one quest we missed out on entirely though. They were originally gonna make us tell jokes to NPCs around the island. Like, I think I was a turtle in a past loop. It's slowly coming back to me. Oh. And the NPC would have roasted your pot. My bad. I forgot Maybe it's to time laugh. Roast Epic for making another hilarious mistake. Recently, Skull Trooper appeared in the same shop twice. A first time in Fortnite history, oh, but now it's already happened again with Surf Witch. I can't seem to catch a break lately. Although I respect the amount of time they put into all the details this season. First, the train announcements being in different languages, and now the lights. If you're in any POI at the time it changes from day to night, you'll actually oh, I didn't see all that. the lamps flick on around you. Details even carry over to skins like the new Scratch Company set. They use your custom banner, but there is unique ones for the lights. Lego mode. They had to censor some of them for the E rating, turning a tank into a bulldozer, a helmet <laughs> to a calf, and this skull into a Lego skeleton. Nice. Not the only thing Lego fans will be interested in. There's also more building themes coming soon. According but to leakers, some them, will actually right? appear in the item shop for you to buy. So let's hope they're not uh, who's too buying expensive. Those? Who's buying those? I can't buying say those? the same for the leaked sets coming in real life. That's right. Lego Fortnite sets are finally happening and are rumored to be releasing later this year. Featuring I'm definitely going to cop some of these. Healy Bone and more. 100%. Just me ready to spend a fortune on them. We all know Bruce Wayne is underneath the Batman mask, but look closely at his Fortnite skin and you'll realize it's Jonesy. It's, just it's Jonesy. taken me years to notice this, and even worse, <laughs> I'm the last of the party learning about the Stoneheads. They've been around the Wait, island what do you for mean? a what about long him? time, with some of them having mustaches and huge eyebrows. Well, enjoy your final view of this guy, because now you'll only see the dad from Cloudy with a chance uh, of meatballs. I'm that's about to ruin him? every aspect of this game for you, like the locker. Okay, maybe Fortnite already ruined this themselves, but oh, I'm gonna okay. make things even worse. Have you ever noticed how everything is all rounded corners now? Well, actually, that's not true. Look closely, and some rarities have square eyes. Why? I literally cannot see this. There are plenty of things Why? mean in this game, but not as much as Sunspot's Lego version. On the surface, he looks fine. It's an awesome design. He looks cool. Until people started drawing comparisons between his face <laughs> and the chat expression from Roblox. Nah, no, did they actually do that? The yeah, Honestly, yeah. I think the entire Chapter 5 map has been ruined for me. In the funniest discovery Fortnite has ever seen, players have figured Bro, out that if you turn the map on its no, side, it that... looks like the former president. No, 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 no. Come on, every, we're reaching here. We're reaching. Okay, it's probably an insane coincidence. We're at least reaching. there's nothing else like that. Well, let's take a look at Crackabella. When she released, people immediately pointed out one thing. It's Hillary Clinton. This oh my whole situation's God. getting out of hand. But there's a feature that affects all outfits, and you'll probably notice this because once you see it, you'll never stop thinking about it. Do we want to know? Psycho Bandit, John Cena, and Travis Scott all have in common. Aside from being shredded, they all have- I'm shredded too. My character's shredded, at least. Oh, nipples. I'm not sure what to do I don't do have any nipples info, either. But yeah, from humans to mechanical yeah, I don't have birds, any we have in my gray character. feather, a pretty underrated outfit that no one talks about. Well, maybe you should because his design is hiding a secret in plain sight. Look closely at the face and you'll realize he doesn't have eyes. Those glowing holes are part of his beak. I have no idea 
why no one talks about Lil Whip's secret backstory. It said as a what? He's got a backstory? always focused on the man himself. All you gotta do is look at the backling, only to find out this isn't him. It's Mrs. Whip. Not only does he have a secret girlfriend, and she's been hiding a game this entire Wait, time. Wait, his now, secret girlfriend is his backling? Fortnite. But if you're still using it in creative mode or something, go into replay and get a closer view. In the center, it has a face. This thing looks straight out of future. I mean, this thing was so menacing back in the day. Builds, but it looks that angry. Not the only thing super different. Sometimes you just need a new perspective, like with Singularity Statue. At certain locations, players looked at her and genuinely thought she was pregnant. I mean, come on. It's a hilarious okay, optical come on illusion. Now. At the same place in Neo Tilted, you'll find a detail that's intended. By looking at this lake from the mini-map, we realize it's designed in the shape of a sword. It is, oh, it looks like a rocket. A weapon for the live event. That's cool. And I gotta admit, I will never run see Meow School's hidden design. She's already got a sick outfit, but the true details in her face. Just look at her eyelids, and they're literally beanies. She is that dedicated oh to the Oh my god. Honestly, I did not I notice Fortnite that. puts this much work into a single character. When the zombie soccer skins released, we all wrote them off. They were just Halloween remixes of something we already had. What's so special? Well, years later, I have to admit, there's a really cool feature here that you'll never unsee. Is it their when mouth you're running, opening? Emoting, or just aiming down sights, check out their jaw. It's fully oh dislocated. Oh my and god. Around. That's I mean, actually what? disgusting. For something that applies to hundreds of skins, pay attention to their hands instead of their face. No nails. Turns out most of your favorite outfits are completely missing fingernails. For the longest I don't know if time, mine has fingernails. And Fortnite realized this was dumb, so they started incorporating it into skins like Lux or Cozy Chomp. But I back in the day, they I were don't know totally if my absent. skin has fingernails. I didn't stop them from know. ripping off popular characters, though. Yeah, we know that Glimmer is a total parody of Elsa from Frozen, but there's a more recent outfit who isn't even meant to be a reference. Torin seems like a totally original skin until people pointed out how much you look looks like Anna before she turns to ice. Mm. Honestly, the purple coat, the white hair, I see it, and now Maybe. I can't stop seeing it. Ugh. You'll be shocked when you find out the mistake Epic made with Lorenzo. With all of these details, I'm surprised they didn't realize that his buttons are the wrong way around. They should be on this side of the shirt. Look closely and you'll realize it makes no sense Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> at all. But I'll never forget how Master Key is ridiculously similar to an anime character. Naruto. I mean, yeah, he totally looks like Ninja. <laughs> he does look like Ninja, though. <laughs> but if you ignore that, you'll also realize he's a clone of Naruto. Yeah. Come on, you guys see it too, right? Maybe you're still stuck on the Ninja no, thing. No, I thought, way, I thought it was Naruto when he first came out. Now, I thought it was a reference to Naruto. I the the problem with carbon and gold. This was one of the first wraps ever added to Fortnite back in Chapter 1. And despite it being a simple design, that's all it took for players to immediately ruin it. Well, this thing is... How? Hold up, you gotta admit, we're looking at a double-A battery here. Okay, you really? You didn't notice this before, <laughs> you're welcome. Now, there is an incredible secret that'll make your favorite pickaxes ten times more disturbing. The drummies harvesting tool is such an adorable pair of drumsticks. I mean, look at their little faces. Wait, actually, look harder, because one of them is really sad. Because he's, been, he's oh, been bitten. He's been bitten. out of him. It explains a lot. Jeez. Still didn't give me whiplash like the time I found out Battlehound's eyes weren't here. I mean, how are these not eyes? Well, look in his mouth and you'll find the true location yeah, of the because he can't see from up there. This is a helmet, and now you're never gonna unsee. Dang. It. Speaking of classic outfits, we have lie. Locks from Chapter One, and she was dropped long before the Icon series existed. But the reason she looks so familiar is because she's based off Loser Fruit. The earliest YouTubers to appear in Fortnite. She's actually 100%. based on Loser Fruit. And not gonna lie, Rox kind of looks more like Lufu than the official skin. Awkward. That is. Just as that is true. As Deathstroke's hilarious problem. On the surface, this guy looks perfectly fine, a pretty solid collab skin, until you compare him to the real character and one thing sticks out immediately I mean, it really sticks out because they gave deathstroke a huge nose why we have no idea but you'll never get it out of <laughs> wait wait he does have a big nose what the hell face some changes make perfect sense though like the cube queen's eyeballs i know it sounds super random but hear me out the developers put so much attention to detail on this outfit they even changed her pupils to be cubes talk mm. about dedication and i actually can't believe my eyes when it comes to her successor the herald okay so get okay she she was like a one season story I thought she was supposed to be a big deal. She ended up she did not just blowing up the map and dipping. Get a good look at the skin. Enjoy it because I'm about to shock you. Let's open right. up this random episode of Teen Titans Go. Wait. Nah, nah. That has to be a coincidence. That has to be this a coincidence. This has got to be one of the funniest no, no. coincidences in years. Every time I look at the Herald, I'm going to think of this. Not the last place you'll find a cartoon character in Fortnite. Yo. The strangest part of the device event wasn't the first person or even the lack of Cyclo. It was this loading screen. It's all because of one reflection. Look at the glass. Even though it's meant to be lights reflecting, people are starting to see Toothless there instead. I mean, it's literally nah, him. It nah. goes to show looking closely is super underrated. From a distance, Archetype looks like he's wearing a full helmet with night vision and everything. Until you zoom 
zoom in and discover there's a ski mask underneath it, and it's simply just a face mask and goggles. Interesting. But look, there's his chin and nose. Some details weren't meant to happen, but with the right frame of mind, any skin could be ruined, even a black manta. Usually, when we have a skin equipped, you see them from the back because it's a third person game. Yeah. Sadly, this hasn't worked in Black Manta's favor because the back of his head, it looks like a sad fish. What is that? And I can't believe <laughs> I never noticed a detail that destroys the most iconic skins of all time. Oh, God. We have outfits like Rex and School Trooper. They are super popular. These guys are literally merchandise and action figures. Yep. So it kind of blows your mind when you find out they don't have sleeves. Yeah, it's body paint, and now it feels like your whole life is a lie. It just proves how little I you know, know about our favorite outfits like Thunder. He's meant to be a kaiju like Godzilla, so where is his tail? Once you notice that's missing, the trail eventually where is leads his you tail? to the rest of his Oh, it's his pickaxe. More importantly, his pickaxe. Where it got cut off, so he used it as a pickaxe. That's cool. Usually, most of these things were hiding in plain sight the whole time. Unlike Lil Whip's secret design, which Epic had to tell us about. For years, he looked like a happy little ice cream cone, but this isn't his normal face. Turns out what do you mean? The whole time, and you can spot them in the mega trailer. I'll never look at him the same way again. <laughs> Just like the hidden reference that was buried for years. Usually, before Epic drops a new season, they update their store images with a vague icon. Yep. When it came to Chapter 2, Season 3, they wanted to tease the flood, so they gave us this image. It's just uh, a man flying over the ocean, but check out the small island in the background. I mean, come on. It's Bikini Bottom. Oh, how did we not see that? SpongeBob. Either this Dude. was just an Easter egg or the biggest coincidence. No ever. one pointed that out? I'll never get it out of my nah, head. Nah, that has to well, be a reference. Well, these were never intended. Fortnite loves the troll us, so click here to see Yo, what guys, they do Yo, guys, big shout out to Top 5 Tommy, Gaming for putting these amazing videos together. Definitely go subscribe to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.